I am David Wise, and I have the privilege of sharing this week's devotion with you. We will be in Romans chapter 8 today. It is a chapter that is packed full of truth and reinforcements for Christ followers like you and me. You know, in recent years, we have dealt with words like uncertainty, unprecedented, chaotic, disruption, pandemic, war, and upheaval. It has taken its toll on the people in our country. We've seen a rise in anxiety, depression, and emotional health issues. I have to be honest and tell you that there are times when I have felt overwhelmed and have been gripped by a sense of anxiety. Paul's words in Romans 8 has much to say to us as we live counter to a culture and as we live through challenging circumstances. He begins his letter by saying that there is now, therefore, no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. By placing our faith in Christ Jesus, we have been justified and declared right. We have been set free from the power of sin and death in our lives. Paul tells us that God has given us his spirit, and that gives us new life. He tells us that we are no longer under a spirit of slavery, but a spirit of adoption, that we are sons and daughters, and that we can reach out to our Heavenly Father, and call him Abba or Daddy, knowing that he cares and wants best what's best for us. We know that he tells us that if God is for us, who can be against us? And then Paul concludes chapter 8 with these powerful words. He says, but in all things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, not height, nor depths, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, who, which is in Christ Jesus. Those are wonderful words for you and I to be reinforced, to recognize that the God of the universe is for us, that he is with us and through him we can overcome the challenges that face us each and every day that he has loved us with an everlasting love, that we don't need to earn his acceptance. He has already granted us his acceptance through Jesus Christ, that we don't ever need to doubt how great his love is for us. The Bible tells us that while we were yet sinners, that God demonstrated his love for us and sent his son Jesus to die for us. Jesus willingly laid down his life for us. The reality is that God's love is never ending, never failing, that there is nothing that can separate us from his love. Even in times of uncertainty and disruptions, we can know his peace and we can walk day by day, placing our trust and confidence in the one who is worthy of that trust. And as we walk with him, he will continue to grow us up through his spirit so that we can put on his love and reflect his love to other people living in this broken world. That is good news of reinforcement for Christ followers like you and me. Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you for your word. We know that it is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Father, we offer you praise and glory knowing that your steadfast love never fails that your compassions fail not, that your mercies are new every morning, and great is your faithfulness, O oh Lord. Father, we can rest in the truth that there is nothing that can separate us from your love that is enduring, steadfast, never failing, and never ending. Father, may we walk in that love. May we put on that love every day and be a reflection of your love in a lost and broken world. God, I thank you for these believers. I pray your blessing upon them. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Y'all have a good day.